and I express this with all sincerity in solidarity with my countrymen who are struggling to find food back home and with my brother who has not had food for the last three days. With all due respect, Mr. President, and I mean no disrespect for your kind hospitality, I will now commence a voluntary fasting for the climate. This means I will voluntarily refrain from eating food during this COP until a meaningful outcome is in sight, until concrete pledges have been made to ensure mobilization of resources for the Green Climate Fund. We cannot afford a fourth COP with an empty GCF until the promise of the operationalization of a loss and damage mechanism has been fulfilled, until there is assurance on finance for adaptation, until we see real ambition on climate action in accordance with the principles we have so upheld. Mr. President, this process under the UNFCCC has been called many, many names. It has been called a farce. It has been called an annual carbon-intensive gathering of useless frequent flyers. It has been called many names, and this hurts. But we can prove them wrong. The UNFCCC can also be called the project to save the planet. It has also been called saving tomorrow today, a couple of years ago. And today we say, I care. We can fix this. We can stop this madness right now, right here, in the middle of this football field and stop moving the goalposts. Mr. President, Your Excellency, Honorable Minister, my delegation calls on you most respectfully to lead us and let Poland and Warsaw be remembered forever as the place where we truly cared to stop this madness. If this is our imperative here in Warsaw, you can rely on my delegation. Now, can humanity rise to this occasion? Mr. President, I still believe we can. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.